If you're using Xcode, you won't get very far without the inspector. So, the inspector is on the right hand side here. And when I have view controller selected, which is just a file, we can edit the target membership here, useful for when we're doing things with testing. Then we have the history inspector, and I don't have this under source control, so it's not applicable. I believe you Xcode. Then we have quick help. Quick help is useful. For instance, there I double clicked on the view did load function, and there I get a summary of the function. I think I can do the same for the view controller. So this is a documentation, and you can click here and it takes you to the documentation. It's all very nice. But the inspector can do more when we're using the storyboard. So I'm just going to add a object here. It's gone onto my other screen, so I'll put a label onto the middle. So then we'll be able to actually see what the inspector can do. So if I go to File Inspector, it's pretty much the same bef as before. Um, localization, so that's useful obviously for localization, which is changing the, the language. History again is not going to work. Quick help, okay, it tells me about the label. Very nice. So this is the um, identity expector. So it, I can use a subclass UI label here. I can also change the accessibility options, and there are these traits to enter. So this is useful, and here are the key paths, and the restoration ID, which is used for um, state management. So when you close and you open an app, it can stay, save the state. Very nice. I'll have to select the label again. And then I get the attribute inspector, and this is particular for the object you have selected. In this case, it's a label, so everything about a label that can be changed using the storyboards right there. The size inspector, I can change the frame here. Um, some things about auto resizing and layout margins. It's all very nice. And the connection inspector. So you can join things to the storyboard by dragging and dropping through the circle there. And it has the outlets listed. All very nice. The inspector's very useful. And I didn't have to click here because, because I used option command 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, respectively. So it took me straight through a shortcut. The inspector's just as awesome as the rest of Xcode.